I instigated this project called Turbulence, a dance about the economy, and it's a pretty freewheeling, lengthy performance art project with dancers and people who come from a variety of different performing genres and practices, trying to have what we're calling a bodily response to the economic crisis. We've really spent time working out how to be in the room together and how to be making choices both like as an ensemble, as a group for the work, but also how to sustain or maintain yourself and your own practice inside of this kind of container or model that is kind of turbulence. San Francisco is a particular kind of container for freakishness and that is a practice, you know, and I, I feel like we all come from our own kind of freaky mm -hmm. backgrounds that we have a lifetime of expertise in. Mm -hmm. Having like a common language to shape that into something mm -hmm. feels feels relevant to me. He's an extremely good director. What I like about him, he'll whisper in your ear and tell you like, if a scene takes too long or whatever, because sometimes he wants focus on certain parts of the uh, performance. And so he's directing, and he's also in the performance at the same time. And uh, that's one of the reasons why it shifts so much like that, because some something may be, too much may be going on on stage, or too little may be going on stage. We uh, also have invited the audience to participate in it. Right. We need one more person. <laughs> Sometimes they get very excited about it and they start their own piece within the piece. And sometimes we do poetry within the poetry. We have all been having overlapping conversations, reading the same text, besides beyond just doing the same exercises. I think shared information and like a horizontal approach to information sharing has been, in my experiences with the show, has been central to the format of the, the, the process that's been part of the process from the beginning. The piece has actually been building for two years and there's a lot of people who have come through it and different people have, each of these people have come into the project at different points so that even that's been part of the what might be seen as either a collision or a setup for failure because we're constantly destabilizing that there is a single group that has made the work. There have been a series of books that have influenced the work and so when Shock Doctrine was the most important work, we never talked about failure, but when Queer Art of Failure was the, the book infusing the you know, our thoughts, then, then failure or the idea of a failed piece or that, that failure is a new kind of subversive way to work or that would generate different kinds of information than success. This horizontalism of like shared information and shared leadership that no matter what I instigate, people can follow me or not. They can, they can listen to when I whisper in their ear or not. And also, it doesn't matter if even all three of these people agree with me, there's four other people over there who don't know what we're doing and they're making their own thing. The interface may, may be quite chaotic, but um, it's the like pathway to dealing with the subject matter and the things that are important. It's actually where we meet the audience in that um, precipice is like where the real action and the real wealth can happen. That's where the piece is most volatile, most at risk, most alive.